guys, it's Chloe. Welcome back or welcome to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna be taking the Tacoma for a short little test drive so that I can give you guys a review on how aftermarket shocks perform on road. Now, swapping out these stock suspension for an aftermarket or upgraded one is a very popular mod on any truck. And ever since I switched from the stock Bilstein shocks on my Toyota Tacoma TRD off-road to my Fox 2.5 race series shocks, I've gotten a lot of questions from you guys as to how these shocks perform on the road. In today's video, I wanted to give you guys a review on whether these shocks perform better, the same, or worse on road, and whether the ride quality has changed at all. Now, being that my truck does spend a lot of time on road, I think this is a really interesting topic. I'm really excited to share my thoughts with you guys, and hopefully I can give you a clear understanding of my driving experience with these aftermarket shocks. Before we get into the specifics of how these shocks perform on road, I wanted to give you guys a little bit of an overview of my truck setup so that you could have more context and see the exact things I've changed from its stock form. I've said this before on my channel, but tires make a huge difference whether you're on or off-road. And in my case, I've gone with a slightly larger and heavier tire than stock with a more aggressive tread pattern that's really good for rocky or sandy terrain. But the greater rotating weight alone of these tires changes the dynamics of this truck quite a bit. So now there's a little bit more rolling resistance and a little bit of a hum compared to the stock tires on road. So while in some respects, these BF Goodrich KO2 tires can be considered a little bit worse than the stock tires on the pavement, I have had these tires with both the stock shocks and my new shocks. So I think I can leave those out of the equation when I'm talking about ride quality, specifically from the new shocks. What have also changed and kind of pretty much the whole point of this video are the shocks themselves. These are Fox 2.5 race series shocks. They're steel bodied, so they're much more dense than any aluminum bodied shocks and theoretically more difficult to bend or break. But one disadvantage of this material is that they do have the ability to corrode and rust more easily. They're about an inch wider than the stock TRD off-road Bilstein shocks, which are the shocks that I previously had on my Tacoma. And this just means the Fox shocks can hold more fluid and cool better when they're under high speed compression. And I've adjusted these front coilovers to lift the front here about an inch inch and a quarter, which makes the truck nearly leveled all around. In the back, I've also removed the stock Bilstein shocks, and now we have the Fox 2.5s with remote reservoirs, and pretty much the reservoirs are there to increase the volume of the shock, which increases the amount of room for oil and gas to operate in within the shock. I have many other videos on my channel discussing more specs on these, why I specifically went with Fox, and how to even install these in your garage. I will say that a big intent and the main reason I went with these was for a better ride off-road and I actually have an entire video where I tested these out off-road. We took the truck to the desert with these shocks newly installed to see if they performed as advertised. We went over sand whoops, washboard roads, and I even accidentally did a baby jump with these new shocks. So if you wanna see how these shocks performed in that kind of terrain, you can check out that video. But today's video is specifically gonna be all about how these perform on road. If you guys are regular viewers on the channel, you've probably seen my truck either in my garage while I'm showing you a mod or on a trail. But the reality is this is my only vehicle and I do have a nine to five job I go to on Monday through Friday. So this truck does spend a lot of time driving on road despite what I might show you on the channel. Now I'd imagine that a lot of you out there who might be in a similar situation as me, basically using your truck to get to work but also occasionally using it on the trails, may be hesitant at first about going aftermarket in terms of shocks because you don't wanna compromise that on-road ride quality just for a better performing ride on the trails on 
the weekend. And to be honest, this is why I spent so much time, in fact, nearly two years of just riding the stock suspension, because to be honest, the Bilstein shocks aren't too bad both on road and on the trails, but just ever since I made the decision to upgrade to these off-road specific shocks, I have felt a difference both in my daily driving on road and off road as well, which is what they were made to do. But putting off road performance aside right now, as someone who lives in San Diego, I find myself kind of doing a mix of both city and highway driving. Right off the bat, one of the first things I noticed when I upgraded to these Fox 2.5 shocks was that they were quite a bit stiffer than the stock shocks. Although I will say, the stiffness can be attributed to them being relatively new. I think they only have a couple thousand miles on them. And to how much I adjusted the preload, or basically how much I compressed the springs on the front coilovers to give the truck some height. I will say though that my leaf springs in the rear are still my stock original leaf springs, so I didn't change those out. So while I did these adjustments, that might have made the shocks feel a little bit stiffer. I think by nature, I would say that these shocks overall are just stiffer than the stock shocks. Now the stiffness that I feel from these shocks is really just when I hit small bumps in the road at low speeds. Basically what I feel is that the truck is just bouncier and feels rougher. And I definitely feel myself moving around in the truck just because of this rougher ride. However, it's when I start moving at higher speeds when I start to see these shocks really shine and perform super well. Going over potholes or bumps in the road at high speeds feels pretty smooth now. It was really weird at first because I'd hear my tires going over the potholes, but I didn't feel them. And it was just strange since I wasn't used to it with the stock Bilstein shocks. This is the ride quality that Fox advertises for these specific shocks because they're really made for high speed compression off-road and on ruddy trails. While stiff, the dampening technology in the shock allows them to adapt to rough terrain by quickly compressing and uncompressing when you need them to, which makes your ride off-road predictable and prevents you from bottoming out. So here on the road, broken pavement and potholes are really no problem for these fog shocks as long as you're going fast enough. Now, if you want the best of both worlds and don't want a rough ride at low speed but still want that high speed compression, Fox, Bilstein, Kings, and a lot of other aftermarket shock companies sell shocks with two-way compression, or as Fox calls it, dual speed compression. This way you can easily fine tune your shocks based on the terrain and speed you drive at for the best ride on or off road. And I know there's a few of you that do follow the channel regularly and in fact have the Fox DSCs. So I wanna know what you think about them in the comments down below. There are also aftermarket shocks out there with softer damping that will probably give you opposite results of what I just explained and what I feel in these shocks. But my personal opinion is that I really like these shocks that I've chosen for my truck or really any stiffer shocks over the softer ones just because they may feel a little bit rough at lower speeds but sometimes when I'm driving a vehicle that drives super smooth on road and has those kinds of soft shocks I get motion sickness so personally I don't mind having a little bit of a bouncier ride and it is a truck after all. Another big difference I noticed after installing these shocks was the better handling. Now ride quality and handling in a vehicle are typically at odds with each other and I find that with my shocks particularly. So while they ride rough at times on road like I've explained before, one of their big advantages is indeed handling. One of the first things I noticed when I drove with these new shocks on my truck is that when I get on a ramp to get on the freeway and I kind of have to make like a really tight turn, I feel so much less body roll, giving me more predictable handling. It's definitely nice when I'm driving on roads with lots of turns, tight turns, when I'm going up a mountain or just cornering at higher speeds in general. I have also noticed less nosedive while braking. So a lot of people when they first get a Tacoma, including myself, notice that when you come to a stop, you nosedive really, really hard into the ground, especially if you accidentally stop harder. With these new shocks, I definitely nosedive a lot less now, but it partially has to do with the geometry of my truck because like I said, I did level out the front or raise the front, so that alone contributes to less nosedive. So when it comes to aftermarket suspension for Tacomas, and in my case, the Fox 2.5 Race Series shocks, I guess my final thoughts are that yes, they do make a difference on road, but not such a big difference that if I were to use my truck only on road, I get these shocks. I like how they ride on the pavement, but really they perform at their best during high speed compression off-road. 
Obviously, this isn't the case for every single aftermarket shock out there. These shocks have their place just like any other aftermarket shocks. I'm sure there's a lot of different suspension kits that you can get for your truck that are specifically better for on-road performance. If you guys like this video and other Tacoma mod or off-road videos, feel free to subscribe. I also have an Instagram where I post some extra content. It is at Chloe Kuo Taco. But other than that, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.